Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Ghostbusters video. I know it's been a while. I've been super busy doing a bunch of other things besides playing this game. But I got a lot of requests to do a ghoulie ghost type video because I never did one. I also never did one for the ectoplast uh, full class. Um, I don't know if I still will or, or won't. But yeah, I have a lot of other things I'm doing right now um, besides playing this game. So I haven't been making videos on it. I haven't been playing it at all. I'm still the same level I was when I made the last video which is probably like over two weeks ago. All right, so first we're gonna be playing as the Drake and they have the possess human ability. If there's a human that's worried, they can't be fully uh, healthy and not feared at all. They have to be a little worried. You can possess them, run into Ghostbusters, knock them down, knock them over. And as soon as you unpossess that person, they'll be fully feared and run out of the building, giving you 5% on the building's taunt meter. The ultimate across the board for all ghoulies is Fear Inferno. You basically, it's like a super upgraded version of Slimer's um, noxious belch. You just basically puke on everything and cover everyone in slime and down them instantly. And then of course we got minions. So yeah, we're gonna be playing the Drake here first and then we'll move on to the Infernal and the Wraith after. But I think most people know about the abilities but I'm just going over them anyways. You could always skip past that part and go into the actual gameplay. Again, I wish I could stream this game but my internet here is really bad and like, I still can't do that. But that would give me a lot more gameplay on the channel for sure. One minute, 30 second game, insane, okay. I was hoping when I came back to this game they might make it so that you could just instantly play as Ghost but that's still not a thing in the game. Good thing that game was only a minute 30 seconds like dang we still cracked out here all right here we go the drake pop we could just instantly possess get rid of one human uh i don't know if that's the one well, of the controls again oh my gosh dude okay cue to hunt all oh, these guys are talking <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna have to bully this little kid. That's cute. Uh, that's cute. The dad is playing with this kid or teaching him how to play. Alright, it's time to puke on them. And actually, I'm gonna do this. Let's knock him away. Ugh. No, they still got the rift. What? I'm frozen. What? I was literally frozen in place. Is that a new bug? I couldn't move. I still can't move. I still I still can't move. I'm moving my mouse, moving my keyboard. E, G, F, anything? No? Can't press pause. I can all out of the game. I, I have to alt F4. That's the only thing I could do. Okay. Oh, <laughs> These videos already take long enough to record, dude, come on. So if the Drake was already one of the lowest on my tier list, it just got lower because if you possess a human, and then I guess you unpossess them, sometimes you have a chance of just all your keybinds going away. Oh, the kid, it's like the kid ghost. Yo, hello, what are these guys doing? Who's dragging this guy? Oh my gosh, the kids that play it. He just said he's way better than us. The kids that play this game are so funny. Also, in case you didn't know. Oh my gosh, hello, can I grab this newspaper? Dude, I can't. Oh my, get out of the way. I still can't grab it. New bug, can't grab the newspaper clipping. Very epic. Let's make me play Ghostbuster again, dude. <sighs> I'm, I'm showing how hard it is to film these videos just because it's so hard to even get ghosts in this game. It really is. Honestly, I don't have a lot of time before I have to go to work now because I have a job. So I'm just going to play bot matches and show off the abilities of, of, of him. Um, yeah, because I don't have a lot of time to film this video right now, sadly. I think I haven't played bot matches since the beta. Ka-chow. ka, -chow, ka -chow. I think we could just run into other people too. No, you can't actually. But yeah, the, a reason the reason I don't really like the Drake too much. Um, why did my ghost hit over there? I don't like the Drake that much just because you can like run out of. Oh, he knocked that guy over. You can run out of civilians pretty quickly, and also you need civilians around to actually activate the ability. It's good for getting the haunt meter up very fast though. I think he's probably one of the best ghosts at doing that if that's all you want to do. 
Hello? Can, can I haunt these ones? There we go. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Dude, why is this game so buggy? I I really want this game to be like... Bum, bum, bum. We're just gonna bully these bots over here. Where's the civilian? Alright, here we go. You. You are my target. Yeah, you also have to do that to every civilian, so... Yo. Oh my gosh, they're kind of hard to control. These bots think they have this. One of the best, one of the best ultimates in the game. My rift, sorry. Alright, these guys are all ready to be possessed at any moment. Possessed also has a long cooldown. Another thing that makes it not that great. I don't know why the rift has a target meter on it for me. <laughs> That's for the Ghostbusters, pretty sure. But yeah, these beer kegs are the best items in the game. Look, even when you're moving with them, you have two bars down there. That means you're generating energy twice as fast. No, I want to possess you. Nope, I want to possess you. Okay. Holy... If everything didn't have the same key binds, that would be much easier to do. Is there five Ghostbusters? One of them just disappeared. I'm pretty sure there was five. Actually, I'm certain there was five. Why am I running into like the most bugs I've ever seen in this game? What happened when the time the time I was gone? All right, we bully, we bully. Yeah, if you ever want, like, losing a lot as, um, as ghosts, try the bot matches, because the bots are not really good in this game. It, it could help a lot. All right, I want to possess a human. And I still feel like the best way to play ghost is to be super aggressive because the more people you're down, oh my gosh, can I please possess you? The more people you down in an area, it haunts that room further. Bop. Did she just get mid? Okay, that was weird. That guy was calming her, wait, what? I've never run into more bugs than today. There we go. Well, that's Drake. Not the rapper. Not the celebrity. Not from Nickelodeon. I wish I had more time so I could actually, like, film these. Maybe I, I shouldn't film this um, when I have no time. I'll definitely be making more Ghostbuster videos, but right now I just, I just want to get one out because it's been, like, two weeks and I just feel bad. I've been wanting to make one, but... I had to focus on so, so much other stuff. Let's quickly show off the uh, Infernal and the Wraith. All right, the Infernal here. The, I think I put him S tier on my list. Maybe, <clears throat> did I put him as best ghost in the game? I don't actually remember, but he is very, very strong. Especially if you put darkness orbs on top of downed people. Ooh, it's really good. But basically you throw this orb down, it slows people around it, uh, and then it eventually detonates, knocking them back. And it builds up their fear as well. But yeah, it doesn't just knock them back also, it also slimes them. So it does a lot of stuff all together. Only bad part about it is you can't, it's like a little hard to control. You have to time it and everything. Um, and hope that the Ghostbusters stick near it. Let's play them on museum. Seems like a good idea. I think as soon as the, the devs make it so that you get guaranteed ghosts every single time in public matches, when you select, you want to play ghost. I think I'll be pumping out a lot more videos. Just want to put that out there. Okay, so, oh, I should probably do this. Whenever you're playing Ghoulie, you should probably... Oh, wait, there's no civilians around. Okay. But you want to possess objects and press Q so that you can wave to them and insta-fear them. But yeah, back in the beta of this game, Ghoulie was for sure... Or I guess I was in the beta, but before the game actually released, Ghoulie was my favorite ghost in the game for sure. I can hold this out. Catch out. You can also have multiple of those down on the ground at a time. Or, wait. 
How? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. I'll show you how I used to do it. It takes a long time, and it's not worth it at all, having two of them down. But let me see if I can get it to work. Hey, wait, can I wave to you, and then boom, insta-fear. Alright, let's try to get two orbs down. So you basically hold it out, and you're already on cooldown. So you just have to wait 30 seconds, so it's definitely not worth it. And you're very slow during this time. Not worth at all. The longer you charge it, I don't think it makes it better either. It just makes some cool sound effects. Uh oh, they're gonna be trying to beam me. Okay, let's throw it down. Break free. If we can throw another one. So that, there's two on the ground now. If we timed it better, if they weren't beaming me, we could have actually saw two of them at the same time. But yeah, that's just kind of bullying. Now we can puke on them. Oh! I mistimed my puke. What is that? Epic Games achievement, hello? I've never seen that. What are they shooting at? Oh, maybe my minions were there. Can I put this on the ceiling though? No, it falls. Alright, good luck. Good luck getting past that. <laughs> yeah. Pokey will still be my favorite because they have a knockback that's on like a no second cooldown. Uh, this one being 30 seconds is a bit much. I feel like it didn't used to be. But I'm usually wrong about things like that. Beep beep boop boop. Sabotage. Yeah, the bots are really bad in this game. But yeah, as long as you throw down orbs and stick near them, um, you'll be mostly safe because it's going to knock them back. Yeah, like that. This is just kind of how the game goes as you really fly through them, melee them, I'm all out of energy, do one of those. I wonder if I can put a vending machine over top of it. What happens? How did this guy got, uh, get knocked back? Dang, this is a good way to level up, actually. I bet some people are just doing that. <laughs> These bots are so dumb. They're just sticking together. Put some minions, put another orb. I mean, this is... What is this? I need to get some energy back. Look at these dudes. Why are they sticking in this corner? Are, are they... Are they broken? Are the Orbeez? <laughs> That's just as soon as they get up. They're slow, they can't... <laughs> so dumb. Well, yeah, this isn't very impressive gameplay, obviously. Just, uh, <laughs> bullying the bots. You actually tossed that pretty far. Yeah, you're getting slimed. Put some minions down. The bots like to target minions a lot. In actual matches, you should never target minions. They're literally worthless. They won't do anything to you. This dude's crawling down here. Also, this ability is very good for defending rifts. Just throw it at the rift. Anyone near it is going to go flying back. Alright, let's grab this rift. Place it right up there. I don't even think the bots will notice it's in there. Big orb. I really don't know if holding it down does anything different. Alright, let's puke on them. <laughs> I messed it up again. The only, why is it the only time I use my ults? They they get me. Ooh. I should totally do a ult 
ghost ultimate tier list. Because we did the ability tier list. Uh, but some people might want to know what the best ults are. Definitely the tornadoes is my favorite though. Not my favorite to use, but it's the best one. And that's the Infernal. Pretty simple. I wish I was doing an actual match, but we just keep getting Ghostbusters, so sorry about that. All right, and on to the last ghoulie ghost type, the Wraith, which has Nightmare Pulse. So Nightmare Pulse is really good to fully haunt a room and building because once you use it, it pulses all around you and haunts every object in your vicinity. Also slimes people um, as any other ability would. But yeah, instantly haunting objects just makes the haunt in that room and build up a lot quicker. So he might even be better than um, the possession ability to instantly haunt locations. Yeah, let's test him out in a bot match. We always start back here. There's like two spawn locations that we map for the ghost, or one. <laughs> I don't even know. All right, so we could just go back here, haunt everything, cut you out, and look, the bar up there is going speedy fast. It's really good. And it's on a shorter cooldown than the possession ability, so yeah, I, I would say this is much better than the possession. Cuts with the possessions, 5% every 30 seconds. This one's going to build the rooms, which is going to give you like 20 or 30%. All right, the Ghostbusters already found a rift. I'm just going to fully haunt this room. Let's just do this, and then we can leave. And that'll definitely guarantee us the room. All right, let's go puke on these guys down here. Big pukes. This time they're not able to get me. Really good ability. Okay, here we go. Let's just hide the rift up here. <laughs> and since it's exposed, we have the green triangle up there, which means this room is getting haunted very fast. And we can also do this. And now it's the fastest possible. So once this theater is fully haunted, um, the building haunt's gonna go up a ton. The coffee shop though, might be at like 99. I'm gonna go check on it actually. I feel like we should have gotten that, that full haunt. Here we go. 78, I'm surprised actually. Okay, now is it gonna fully haunt? Oh gosh. Sticking in the room is really the best best way to do it. There we go. But yeah, if people notice, like I get a lot of comments saying that Ghost is way too hard to play right now, and I just have to disagree because again, I haven't lost as Ghost. Not that I'm I mean I'm playing bots right now, but I don't usually play bots. The thing I think I do that other people are doing differently, everyone always comments in my comments about how they, they lose rifts too quickly. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know this was here, honestly. To be completely honest. I did not know that hole was right here. Huh. Um, people always talk about how quickly they lose rifts. But like the thing is, you really don't need to worry about rifts. You just need to worry about building haunt and rooms. The rifts are just like a extra timer for you. Okay, let's actually use our ability on a bot. Boom. There we go. That's a pretty good group ability. If I if I was using it on a group right there. Critical that guy. Oh, my minion distracted her. But yeah, if you notice the way I play, I don't really... Like, I, I mean, I go and retrieve the rift sometimes, but I'm mostly trying to just build room haunts. And I feel like that's the main way to win this game. Because people are so afraid of losing rifts when the rifts really don't mean much. They're your lives in this game, but it doesn't really matter, because as long as you just survive the endgame timer, you win. And the endgame timer happens regardless. That's why I think the game is so in the favor of ghosts right now. All right, here we go. We're going to use our R ability on all these dudes. Oh, if we can possess, if we can haunt all these objects too, that'd be really good. He's literally wall hacking. He knows I'm here. Cut you 
Ouch, ow. It knocks them back, slimes them. Makes them very easy to kill. We didn't haunt many objects with it, though. That was weird. I want to haunt everything in there with this ability. There's actually so, m so many props right here. Alright, one second, one second. Here we go. Boom. It didn't haunt everything. Oh, I guess... No, it did. Puke. That was really easy. Yeah, yeah so this ghost can haunt rooms. Dang, that theater looks messed up. Honestly, I think Wraith might be better than in Infernal in some ways. Um, like, definitely building haunt is way better at. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that was me playing the Ghoulie class against bots, sadly. But if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I want to make more Ghostbusters content in the future. I just, I need to be able to actually pick the Ghost, the ghost class because right now it keeps making me play Ghostbusters. Like, it happened four times in a row during this recording, uh, which is why I switched over to bots. And then there was a bug that ruined that one match that we actually did get ghost. So, but yeah, there's lots of bugs in the game right now. Hopefully, if that all gets fixed, I'll make a lot more Ghostbuster content. I might every once in a while be posting clips as well on the TikTok. So if you follow me there, you'll see some Ghostbuster content there. I actually have a TikTok at like 2 million views right now. That's Ghostbusters. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, let me know what your favorite ghoulie ghost is out of all these. And that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video.